If you just want simple, good storytelling with some great action scenes with an overall good cast, the Terminal List is for you. First off, every name is Lise. I just recently saw the Terminal List. This is off Amazon Prime. And I gotta say this, this show revolves around Chris Pratt as James Reese. James Reese is a former Navy SEAL who's now taking revenge on the people within his own government who has now destroyed his entire life. They killed his freaking team. They're going after his family. He must stand back. He must now take a stand and fight against them. It goes into the line of right and wrong. You know, this typical uh, stuff that they've been saying for the longest time. Is vengeance really justice? Is Genesis really vengeance and all that stuff? When is it enough? When do you become the good guy and from the bad guy? Overall, this entire team show makes overall sense with his story. James Reese is like, seeking revenge on the people who uh, uh, who uh, hurt him, who uh, destroyed his team, and seeking revenge upon them. If you ever seen the TV show The Punisher, if you ever know the, Pun the Punisher character, this is what this entire storyline is basically is. Except with Chris uh, Pratt, James Reese. He's not full-blown Punisher. He ain't gone full-blown psycho and lost everything, and he totally lost his freaking mind. Chris Pratt as James Reese is an interesting character. I enjoy him. He's always constantly having flashbacks between his family life to his marine life to what he used to be, and now he's single-handedly taking on people within his own government, within his own uh, corps, within his own Navy uh, office, that he's going to take on anybody who had a part to play in the destruction of his family, of his team, of his unit. And it's a simple dang TV show. It's like eight episodes. He's a Chris Pratt is a great actor. The action scenes are very well done. The storylines overall make sense, and I cannot complain about it. So the terminal list overall, without spoiling anything, is great. It was consistent throughout its entire storytelling. The action was good. Again, I can't really complain. This is right up there with me with Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher was the same thing. Jack Reacher uh, had an interesting character. He's fighting against something, uh, corruption into uh, into America inside a small town. Jack Reacher is an ultimate badass. Granted, is this show better than Jack Reacher? No, but they're both produced by Amazon Prime. They both have a militarized protagonist, and they're both out there to seek justice. Overall, I enjoy it. Uh, the Reacher was a TV show just basically a mixture of revenge, and so was the Terminal List. Terminal List was a straight-up revenge thing. If y'all saw Punisher Season 1 or Season 2, you got the freaking Terminal List. You're going to have great action, great acting, and overall, that's what I want. I just want escapism, and the Terminal List is great escapism. But what's your personal think, everybody? You think the show was stupid? You think the show was terrible? You think it was great? You think it was awful? You think Chris Pratt should have been replaced? You think the no, actor could have fulfilled his role? How'd you like the villains in this show? Did you think they did a great job? Are they memorable to you? Please let me know what you all think. Thanks, Lisa Garford, everybody. Bye-bye.